Oh, hello everybody. So quickly today I want to talk about Ronald Reed. He was a guy, he uh, died uh, at age of 92 years old. He, uh, he was amazing. He lived like a pretty frugal life. He lived in his house. His wife died early and he chopped up uh, himself, even at old age, the wood for his fireplace outside of the house. He had an old car he drove for breakfast, pretty frugal guy, he never, like he wasn't crazy about his clothes or so. And um, he he saved a lot and he had, when he died and nobody could believe it, nobody knew that he was multi-millionaire, he had like 8 million dollars. And pretty much he donated it, um, a big part went to a hospital and another part to, to a library where, where he lived. Uh, Ronald Reed. It's just an amazing story. And when you look closer to it, what he did actually was um, drip investing. He bought rock solid companies like mostly quality stocks like blue chips and he invested, reinvested the dividends and it's like a machine, it's a, a snowball that comes into play because you add every quarter to your position and it's pretty much it doesn't cost you anything uh, you can set it up in the US in other countries I think in Europe it's not very uh, well known we don't have it at uh, for example not in Germany or so but in the US it's a pretty great and smart it's a genius tool when you have a quality company so what co quality companies would I think about like for example aristocrats there are like many aristocrats um, in the S&P 500 you find there are lots and what does it mean aristocrat that is a stock that pays for 25 years in a row without interrupting and increases the dividends every year for 25 years and but if you look around it's like yeah, there are so many companies um, you find in the S&P like you start with AT&T, Colgate, Palmolive um, everyone knows, uh, of course, Colgate, Palmolive, AT&T is, um, is a competitor of Verizon, is a mobile phone company, a telco. Colgate, Palmolive, cleaning, uh, toothpaste, toothbrushes. Franklin Resources is a huge, um, a very huge uh, investment fund company, corporation. Um, uh, they bought at the Templeton Fund of the famous uh, Mr. Templeton. And uh, then we have uh, January Post GPCs, that the stock uh, symbol. Then, for example, Illinois Toolworks is a aristocrat, pays for at least 25 years, increases every year the dividends. It's a machine. Those stocks are machines. And if you invest in those, I mentioned a few, a T-Roll price, that is another investment fund uh, company, uh, investment firm, T-Roll price. Um, then you have 3M, you have F, like you have so many. I think um, it's just amazing. So anyway, so if you have those, you can you can be pretty much sure, you can assume that those companies don't disappear or so. Maybe one out of a hundred may go out of business or get into trouble, but overall the big part of them, when you hold on to them for decades, you can assume they pretty do well because they did in the last 25 years or minimum or maybe 50 years. And usually those companies are around very long. They are very traditional, very boring products uh, like Procter & Gamble. Think about it. Everyday products and stuff. So just think about it. That's a very smart investment strategy what this old man did. He was like a, a janitor at the JC Penney's. He cleaned the floors. He worked at a gasoline station, so even with a small income, when you live frugal and you invest very smartly, you can enjoy your retirement. And um, it's pretty much possible uh, with such a strategy. Another one that is very smart uh, is to invest in the um, in an index fund, like a fan card one. It costs you 0.05% fees on every $10,000 that, that I invested. That means translated. $5 fee 